Hello, what's up guys, my name is HotCC and welcome back to Beltless Factorio where we are close to getting our rocket. Starting a rocket is usually the final goal of this game, uh, at least uh, if you play uh, vanilla. Um, we kind of do, but we are not using any belts, so... Uh, I have set myself an additional challenge, uh, basically have a certain number of science pack produced uh, per second. Uh, that's quite a common uh, measure that, that uh, uh, you have in, in these kind of games. Uh, and last time we finished all the research that we can do with our space science and build a factory for a rocket control unit which has been running for a bit so having finished the uh, last researches that also means we can build a satellite and as you can see, that takes uh, six ingredients. That's more than any other recipe that we have so far. I think the, the most complex one was this one, which had four. And I think the way to go about this is we do have the processing units, we have the low density structures, we have the rocket fuel. We can all deliver that. But we don't have solar panels, we don't have accumulators, we don't have radar. And we will produce that in a pre-step for the uh, satellite. So here we need copper, steel, and electronic circuits and here we need iron and batteries and for the radars we need uh, iron gears and uh, and uh, the, the, the green circuits that's that's how they are called um, and then we probably want to feed that satellite directly into the rocket silo. Uh, and for the rocket silo, we also need to have uh, three ingredients to create the rocket part. So we will have a unloading station, but we also have the space science so we need a loading station so basically if you if you think of it uh, geometrically you have the the rocket silo in the middle on one side you have uh, delivery uh, for the rocket parts on the other side you have the factory for the satellite on the third side, you have to pick up for the uh, space signs. That basically leaves only one side where we could beacon up. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's that. So, probably we should... Um, I think we built the whole thing in here. We probably should not... Uh, squeeze it in in a corner because we need a bit of rail to get in and out but let's try to do this uh, in a meaningful manner so these three we can get uh, from a uh, train so if we have something like this the 
does that work? Yeah. Okay, that's then set to light direct on delivery delivery so here we will have the blue circuits we will have the rocket fuel and we will have the low density structures and here i think we can deal with that this way right and then We need more. I think we will do that here and then have this and this here. Or let's switch these two around. And then have that here. Because both need iron plates. So if we have that here. that works and then we can basically have the batteries here and here we need basically something like that That should then be the the blue at uh, the, the green circuits. And then this can be the iron gears. Then we have this like that. Then this would be One would be copper, one would be steel. Then here we have batteries. And here we need to have it this way. Does that count? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, oh. we missed this one. think 
Okay, let me sort this out and uh, uh, probably it needs a bit of uh, of thinking and uh, we will have probably line coming in from down here somewhere to deliver the goods and that should then all be fine and then we only need to set up the trains and probably the the rocket silo will be up here so we will not directly insert the satellite uh, because um, we have station here and we need a bit of uh, room on the other sides of the station of the silo all right let me finish this setup place down the second station and then we can see how this uh, spaghetti with inserters and chest uh, is supposed to work now this is something that should work i have not fully tried it but we will see once we have train delivery um i put in here some of the the accumulators and solar panels because you remember before we had nuclear power we struggled with uh, with power so i decided let's put down massive solar arrays and we still have some remaining here here but i also pulled down quite a few because they were just in the way and presently we don't need the power um, i think we can even have more uh yeah uh, you can see um 700 megawatt and um, we are not really uh, using that much um, this is basically just here sometimes we have this this gap if uh, the if we run out of steam and the uh, uh, reactor has to heat up um, so that's where we uh, see a bit of a spike um, of the of the accumulators and maybe we could even overcome that by increasing the amount of steam that we want to store but well i think i have forgotten something because i thought we had one more ingredient that that we need but it looks like yeah, everything should work and if it doesn't we will figure that out soon enough so let's put down one train here and another train there and then we can set up the trains other way around feed a bit of uh, of uh, coal and then here let's go to waiting blue sides um we have quite uh, a few stations waiting blue circuits of course and then loading blue circuits blue circuits pick up um uh, we will have to see about the, the quantity that that we need here um, then we want to have uh, rocket fuel pick up and um, what's the, the rock no it's not rocket control units what's the last thing that we need low density structures 
Um, have we a waiting bay for low density? Yeah, we have. And then we go to low density pickup. And we go to train fueling. And then we go here. And here we uh, say empty cargo or two minutes, nothing happened. Right. So now here we need uh, 100, 150 fuel. So uh, let, let's make this this simple one train load one satellite one hundred rocket fuel rocket fuel we only need 50 but the problem with rocket fuel as well as uh, low density structures they only stack to 10 so with low density structures loaded for 100 uh, we already have quarter filled uh, train actually we could double that up 200 that's half the train then here it's 100 that's uh, a two-third of the train and uh, that takes just two additional slots right so that train can go off and here we also need a bit of uh, fuel and here the calculations is a bit more tricky. Um, uh, waiting batteries. Waiting batteries and then loading batteries. Uh, Item count for batteries, we will make that a thousand. I think battery stack to uh, 200, so that's that's uh, five stack, half a row. Then we need. Um, Another waiting, waiting. Waiting gear loading. Yep, so then load the gear next. Um, item count. I think gears we don't need that much let's make that 200 because the gears we only need for the radar and radars we need five per satellite then we need waiting um Waiting green circuits and green circuits. Green circuits, we need quite a few. So, item count green circuits. Let's make that a thousand as well. That's another half a row. Then we have waiting iron. Um, waiting iron and 
pick up iron. Item count. We make that, I think, 500. And then awaiting couple plates. Waiting couple plate pickup. And copper plate delivery. Uh, here we have an iron count. Probably also around 500, maybe a bit less. Because the, the iron we need for the radars, there we don't, we only need five. And for the, um, for the uh, accumulators and the iron plate we only need for the solar panel so also only for the solar panel we need uh, steel um, so where do we have it the waiting and the steel pick up item count Steel Let's also make that 500 1 2 3 4 5 6 Okay, then let's go fueling and Let's go here Here we have empty cargo or inactivity for two minutes. Over the long run, that's probably what, what will happen. And I think we have everything. We will figure that out in a bit. And I have limited all the chests here to one stack, also here on the output. So basically that means every chest can hold one satellite and we can extend this line up here uh, towards the, the, the satellite pickup. And maybe we can even have another station here for the other ingredients and then bring that over to here. So that would free up uh, just another side uh, for the rocket silo. But I think we will wait a bit until we have some uh, train deliveries here uh, to actually see if this is working. The first train with the more ingredients has just arrived and we see we are producing here, we are producing there, we are producing uh, radars. So we have half the number of ingredients that we need uh, for our satellite. So uh, now we just have to see uh, until the second train also makes it and uh, we did a calculation a while back um, that we probably need a rocket every 15 minutes that should mean that um, I think this train carries enough materials for two satellites uh, I'm not sure how well um, this train how many items uh, it, it carries um, 
but we will we will see uh, so let's wait for the second train and the second train has arrived now as well so unloading will take a while uh, especially as we need to load quite a few items here uh, but as you see we are working on a satellite great success and from the way stuff backed up here i think we're looking good maybe we have a bit too much copper but then again we uh, feed the uh, solar panels and the accumulators from here as well so maybe in the end that will even add uh, not so sure uh, about the amount of uh, gears it seems like uh, that is backed up at the least but i think we will just have to wait and see and we have already created two satellites so there is nothing in the way uh, to uh, start our rocket, right? Well, 